guys, I am back with build number 57. This is my green and white house, mostly green. Um, as you can see, there are no walls inside, so this is a very, very easy build for anybody. And it gives you plenty of room to kind of make it your own by adding walls and whatnot. Um, you can add a basement, you can add another story if you want. So it gives you plenty of options to do whatever you want to it to make it your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. And this is with the Batania mount mod. Yeah, anyway, um, it's in Project Ozone 3 version 112.2. So if you don't have this block, you can always use whatever block you want, of course, as always. So we're gonna go ahead with the pillar of elven quartz block and you're going to go up one two three four five your height is going to be five all the way around attached to that you're going to have elven quartz then you're going to have a window that's four high and then of course you know elven quartz above it elven quartz two opening for your door elven quartz four window, elven quartz, and then back to your pillar quartz block. And then I call these pillars, even though they're not, but that's what I'm gonna call them. So you're gonna have, you're gonna jet around, kind of staircasing it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the elven quartz and you're gonna place three windows on top of each one and on top of each of the top glass you're gonna place the elven quartz and then you're gonna go over here again staircasing it out you're gonna have the pillar of the elven quartz again come around the corner you're gonna have a flat wall and oops Wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the elven quartz and a pillar. The third one up and one over. You have five window. Another row of five windows and finish it off with your elven quartz. I'm sorry. Yeah, elven quartz. And then your last block on this wall is going to be the pillar quartz. You're going to go over and in one and place elven quartz two wide with the pillar quartz next to it carry it up go in one and over three elven and one pillar carrying it up you're going to go to the back wall here you're going to place two rows of elven on the third row is two elven and four window two elven next row two elven four window two elven and then the elven all the way then you're gonna have on the ninth one window and that's gonna be one two three four high another elven five high the two opening with the elven above it, an elven, one window, eight elven with the pillar on the end. You're gonna have two blocks between your windows and have a two high, four wide window here. We're gonna go to this last wall here and it's gonna match the other side identically. So you're gonna have your pillar, three elven, come out and over, you're gonna have a pillar and two elven, over and out, you're gonna have a pillar, two, three, four, five, six, seven elven and a pillar, third row up, you're gonna have five windows for the next two rows and then elven on top of course. And then on this side, on the right side where you did your windows, that's all going to be elven quartz on all of those. 
So you'll have a total of eight columns of Elvin. And that'll bring you back to your pillar here. Yes. So then on the top block, all the way around the exterior, you're going to use aesthetic green slab from Actually Editions. And you're going to place that so you have it hanging over by one. And you're going to do your corners. So when you get to your corner, you're going to go here, in one, over one, in one, over, in, over, in, over. So it you have this lip. And then you'll have a lip of one on the straight wall, lip of one around this side here, around the back, around here, and then back to your elven pillars again, in and over, in and over for your lip. If you come in one, you're going to start placing the aesthetic green stairs and you're just going to follow that perimeter all the way around. You can see how I did these corners here. So you're showing two all the way and you have inner and outer stairs. And then you just place them like this. When you get to this stair, you're going to turn place this stair, turn back this way, and place this stair. Turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right, so you can get your corners right. And then you just carry that all the way around, and then you go in one more, and you do a slab. Carry that slab all the way around the perimeter to keep the same look and fill it in with the slab. If we go back, woo, too far, through the front door, my floor is a just a simple green block from Extra Planets. Again, if you don't have that mod, just use whatever. Um, but I did do this little decorative piece here. So from your doorway, you have this one block, this is the left side of the door, you have the one two, three. The fourth and fifth block are going to be blocks of quartz. From that one, counting that is one, two, three, four, five. Go back to that first block here. Counting that is one, two, three, four, five, six. From those corner ones, you're going to try to match this out here. From the corner one, you're going to go up and over, 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 up and over. So these two are going to line up with your pillar. You're going to carry those two until it lines up with this pillar. And then Add one, two, three, four more next to this one here. You're going to do four. So now you are in line with this over here, just one past the pillar. You're going to carry that all the way past your door to where you have one green block and then your elven. Those going to be too wide. You're going to turn left and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen total. If you go left one block, you go one, two, three, four. Over to the right, up one, over to the right, you place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You go left, up, left is quartz, up quartz, left quartz, up quartz, 
left quartz, up quartz, left quartz, up quartz. And that's your quartz exterior design. If we go back to the front drawer, left block, you've got your two quartz. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh one, you place a block of quartz for a total of one, two, three, four. Immediate left, you put four more. From here, you place two more of the same length. And the rest, of course, is green. That's it. That's the build. Now, if you want to add walls, which is up to you, you can. You can redesign this quartz around the exterior here to conform to whatever walls you place. But I would say if you place walls, I probably would start here maybe, or here, whichever, on this pillar, and come out. You could place a wall starting on this pillar and coming out. I would use your, uh, what, are the, what are they, the elven pillars as your places to start walls and then just kind of build according to that. Um, but that's up to you if you want a wall. Other thing you could do is you could, right here in these four middle squares, you could put some blocks to go up and you could build on top of the house and make a whole nother section. Or you can start here and build some stairs going down into either a basement or your own private mine. Those are options that you could do as well. I think whatever option you choose is gonna work as long as it's what you want. But this is the build that I chose to make. Um, I don't have windows absolutely everywhere. It is a little different. But I like it. I think I, when I made this one, I was playing around with trying to make something rounded edges and whatnot so that it's not like a perfect square. But this one leaves plenty of room to do whatever you want. Another option would be to start a wall here or here, too wide, going all the way to that side to where that quartz is. And then same thing here with the two center blocks taking it out to right about here. And same thing to the left to write about where the quartz is. So that'll give you one, two, three, four rooms total. And what you could, what I would do is I would leave this open and you'll see that in future videos, but leave the center open so that when you walk in, I don't know why I did that. When you walk in and you're standing here, you can walk into any four of the rooms. But again, it's just an option something you could do that's probably something I would do if I were to rebuild this one which I probably will in time otherwise make it yours do what you want with it add decorations make it look better if you guys do use this build and do something different with it please do share it with me I would love to see what you guys did I love to see you know other people's creativity and ingenuity come to life I'm more than happy to to see it and to share it as well I think it's cool. Um, I do appreciate you guys coming by. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, constructive criticism, please do leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.